Tonight we're remembering Linda Brown, the Topeka woman who was at the center as a little girl of the Brown versus Board of Education decision. That U.S. Supreme Court decision ended school segregation across the country. Linda died Sunday at 76. KSNT News reporter Gretchen Caden is live at the historic site in Topeka to explain how she's being remembered. Gretchen, good evening. Jace, this historic site is proof of the legacy Linda Brown and her family created. Now, I talked with one person who helps spread that legacy and another who makes sure things never go back to the way they once were. Unmeasurable in today's standards. That's how Kansas Deputy Education Commissioner Dale Dennis describes the bravery the Brown family showed. It was a stance that changed lives. Linda Brown and her family made a monumental effect. Uh, on Topeka as well as the state of Kansas and the nation as a whole. Topeka's Sumner Elementary School was all white in 1951 when Linda Brown's father, Oliver, tried to enroll her in the school. After being told Linda could not attend Sumner, he responded by joining a dozen other plaintiffs in the fight to end school segregation. It was a, a quiet courageousness that uh, clearly was willing to to do the, the hard work that has really changed the landscape of our nation. NMNE E. Kong works at the Brown versus Board of Education National Historic Site. He says he never got the chance to meet Linda, but sharing her legacy is something he takes pride in. We take joy in reminding people of what it took for us to have this place, uh, what, it, what it takes for us to be in the very diverse society that we live in today. And while the Brown family changed Topeka and the nation forever, Dennis says there is still a lot of work to be done. We're still growing from that. We're still growing. The old Sumner School sits abandoned today. The building is currently a National Historic Landmark and is being considered for the designation of a World Heritage Site. Now, funeral services for Linda Brown are still pending. Reporting live in downtown Topeka, Gretchen Kanan, KSNT News. And certainly all of us have been impacted by her legacy. Gretchen, thank you.